Good morning and happy new year. I hope that you have had so far a wonderful, wonderful start to your brand new 2024 year. So far, my day is going pretty well. It is 11 a.m. So it's early yet, but I th I'm feeling very hopeful about the day as it progresses through. I'm actually currently working right now, but I'm taking a break and I just wanted to do a quick video to share something, uh, a recent find, something that I'm gonna start a savings challenge and then I will be getting back to work to finish my work day. But luckily it's a holiday, so my work day is going pretty easy. Um, yeah, and with that, I just wanted to show you I actually found this on Timu. It was from one of my recent Timu orders and it's called a hundred envelope saving challenge. And <clears throat> so when you open it up, there is like one big plain clear envelope and then a hundred, maybe 50, 50, and then 100 if you do front and back. Uh, they're little divided envelopes. If you can see here, it has one, two, three, four little dividers. So, and then they each have the little pocket up top. So you would put in the front and in the back. And basically how this works, <clears throat> excuse me, it came with these right here and you will be putting one of these in the blank, the big blank one. And so it's numbers one through 100. So the idea is that for each of the little folders, the little envelopes, you would put $1, $2, $3, $4 for envelope one, two, three, four, and so on all the way up to 100. And on the 100th envelope, you would put $100. Sorry about that. I had some rain ambiance going on. And then commercial wanted to play. But anyway, so you would start with your numbers, 1 through 100. And for each envelope, that number corresponding, you would put that much money in. And if you complete that and filled in all 100 envelopes, at the end of this challenge, you would have $5,050. We are working on trying to buy a home. We actually had to renew our lease here starting for this month because we're not in a place where we can buy a house just yet. Um, but this is something that I want to start for this year because our plans are by the end of 2024, we are going to be ready to buy a home. And this right here would go so far um, in trying to work on that goal and it would be something perfect to have at that time. Like could go to our down payment, closing costs, new furniture for our house, whatever. So I'm starting this challenge today. Now I'm not gonna lie, when I first bought this, I thought these were stickers that I would just peel off and stick the numbers onto the envelopes, but it's not. It's just a printed page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep the number pages in this, this first little clear envelope, but as I put the money in, you know, I will pull it out and then I will just kind of highlight it in for the ones that I have finished. I will probably use a green highlighter, maybe a little more green, maybe. Um, actually, this one works fine. So what I'm gonna do today is January the 1st. So for envelope one, I have one dollar. So I'm going to start on the first day of the year, envelope one with one dollar. So I'm going to put my dollar into my first envelope and I will show you. So here is my first page. 
Here is my dollar going in right now. And then I will need $2, $3, $4, and then I'll flip it around five, six, seven, and eight dollars. But I have my one dollar in there. First day of the brand new year. And um, one thing, I have no ill illusions that I have the kind of money to do a dollar a day, you know, like to fill out each each dollar amount for a day. Like tomorrow, I'm not going to have $2. Uh, Wednesday, I'm not going to have $3. I'm not going to have $5 on Friday. I'm not going to have the cash to put in here every single day. So what I'm going to do, my plan is, is I'm going to try to do the envelope stuffing system whereby I draw cash. I'm going to set a budget for this year for like groceries, gas, any kind of spending outside of bills to pay. And I'm going to draw cash out of my bank account. And we'll put those. I have a separate little folder of envelopes to put like gas money, grocery money, shopping money, whatever money in there. And then as I use that from that change, then I will add in here. Or when I get paid, I get paid every two weeks at work. As I'm drawing out the money for my cash envelopes, I'm going to draw out a little extra cash to go in here, like maybe a 20 or maybe 40, depending on how many shifts extra I get in at the emergency room that's outside of my primary job. So if I have some overtime and some extra shifts, you know, I may draw 40 or $60 out in addition to my envelope stuff in cash to add in here. So it's not going to happen in a hundred days. And my goal ideally is to at least have this completed by the end of the year. But if I have a really good productive year and complete this before the end of the year. The book came with four sheets so I can fill this out four times and I'm just going to shade them in. And if I complete these four times, that's over $20,000. So I'm going to see how, how well I can do with this in year one or this year and see if I can complete it and get the, you know, $5,000 saved up for this month or for this year. I wish I could get $5,000 saved up for this month, but I'm just going to highlight my one because it's done. <laughs> and then the next time I get paid actually Friday. So I'm going to draw out the money for my my cash stuffing envelopes. And when I get that drawn out, I'll see if I can draw, sneak a little extra into the savings notebook. And if not, when I buy my groceries or get gas or purchase anything that I need to purchase, I'm gonna try to sneak a little change. So here is my, my book, 100 savings 100 envelope savings challenge here is the first page which is already highlighted that i put a dollar in and then here is my envelopes with my one dollar so it's just going to be a fun little challenge again i found this on timu um i don't remember exactly how much it was it was it was very inexpensive it was probably like ten dollars or less i can try to find it and link it if you're interested in doing a savings challenge for yourself. And uh, I will update later on and see if I'm making any good progress on this or if, you know, if I get to June and this dollar is the only thing that's still in there, then obviously this is an epic failure. But I'm going to remain hopeful and... Yeah, so I'm excited. Today is a brand new day of a brand new month in a brand new year. And what better time to start a very, I feel like aggressive, but doable savings challenge. And the ultimate goal for this is to go toward 
the purchase of our own home. And I think that's definitely a goal that has its own motivation enough to keep me putting some money in here and filling these envelopes up. So anyway, with that, again, I hope that you're having an absolutely amazing start to your new year. Wonderful, wonderful, happy new year. And if you've watched to the end of this video, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my video. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.